Water on Earth may have come from beyond the stars. Hundreds of billions of years ago, beyond what we know as time, the gas giants of Saturn and Jupiter formed in a solar system-wide fireworks display, and our very existence might be a result of that cosmic spectacle. A study published in the journal Icarus suggests that Earth's water is a simple byproduct of giant planet growth. During the formation of gas giants such as Saturn or Jupiter, they enter a period of rapid growth. This destabilized nearby water-rich space rocks, known as planetismals, bringing them into the planetary orbit. Next, the gravity there would have propelled these to the inner or outer solar system. The researchers speculate some were sent in an inward direction towards some early form of Earth and seeded it with water. So in other words, if Jupiter or Saturn didn't go boom, boom, shake, shake the cosmos, water may not have come to Earth, and life as we know it may never have existed. Strap in, Tomonauts, we're about to go intergalactic. NASA finds star system with seven Earth-like planets. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light-years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets, with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. These planets take 6, 9, and 12 days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water, but maybe even life. NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope, and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So, still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight. Water World is just a couple of light years away. For the first time ever, astronomers have detected an atmosphere around a planet other than Earth, marking a significant step in the search for extraterrestrial life. Planet GJ1132b is roughly 1.4 times the size of Earth and is located 39 light years away in the Vela constellation. The Earth-like planet orbits a red dwarf star that is smaller, cooler, and dimmer than our own Sun. Dubbed Super-Earth, the planet is believed to be surrounded by a thick atmosphere rich in water or methane, or potentially both. Scientists say one possibility is that GJ1132b is a water world with an atmosphere of hot steam. But with a surface temperature of 370 degrees Celsius, the world is unfortunately not habitable, as life on Earth has only managed to survive in up to 120 degrees Celsius. There's still a lot more to learn about GJ1132b, and scientists hope to be able to observe it more clearly using instruments such as the Hubble Space Telescope, ESO's Very Large Telescope, and the James Webb Space Telescope. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission, before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. The still-in-design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. 
The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. Solar Flare. The glowing yellow orb of life floating millions of miles away at the center of our solar system flared up in a massive, massive way this week. A massive storm over the sun on Wednesday discharged the strongest solar flare in 10 years. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the X9.3 flare caused high-frequency radio blackouts and navigational issues over the sunlit part of Earth. According to NASA, solar flares take place when magnetic energy built up within the sun's atmosphere is suddenly released. They impact everything on the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. The energy released is equivalent to millions of 100 megaton nuclear bombs exploding at the same time. The last solar flare of similar strength occurred in 2006, and the strongest on record took place in 2001. 